Hi, viewers. I'm going to be talking about the halogenation of alkanes by radical substitution. We have an alkane reacting with a halogen molecule under the conditions of light or heat to form an alkyl halide and a hydrogen halide. The halogen X, which can be chlorine or bromine, substitutes for the hydrogen, forming here, as you see, the alkyl halide. All right, here we have two specific examples. In the first, methane reacts with chlorine under the conditions of heat or light to form chloromethane and hydrogen chloride. In the second example, cyclohexane reacts with bromine, again under the right conditions of heat or light, to form bromocyclohexane and hydrogen bromide. Take note that these are both just monosubstituted reactions and that polysubstitution with halogens can and does occur. All right, this mechanism is the halogenation of alkanes. In this case, ethane reacts with chlorine to yield ethyl chloride and hydrogen chloride. The mechanism involves three stages, initiation, propagation, and termination. We'll look first at the stages of initiation and propagation. In initiation, a chlorine molecule undergoes homolytic cleavage to yield two chlorine radical atoms. In homolytic cleavage, the sigma bond is broken and one electron goes to each chlorine fragment. In propagation, one of these chlorine radical atoms abstracts the hydrogen atom off the ethane to give the ethyl radical and hydrogen chloride. This ethyl radical, in turn, abstracts a chlorine atom off a chlorine molecule to yield ethyl chloride and regenerate a chlorine radical atom. Propagation constitutes the radical chain reaction. This cycle repeats over and over again, yielding the products. Note, the stages of propagation sum to give the overall balanced chemical reaction. Now we have the termination stage. In termination, two radicals come together to form a sigma bond. Uh, three possible means of this occurring are as shown. Two chlorine radicals can react to form a chlorine molecule. Two ethyl radicals can come together to form butane. And we have the ethyl radical and chlorine radical combining to form ethyl chloride. Know, however, that this is not the main mechanism to form the ethyl chloride product. It's generated primarily through the propagation cycle. In conclusion, radical halogenation is an important reaction that allows one to convert an alkane to an alkyl halide.